video. In this video, we'll show you how to get your form fields to auto populate from Salesforce after a push action. So let's say, for example, I wanted to create an account on page one. Then on the page two, I wanted to create an opportunity. However, the account I've just created, I want to display those details on the second page when I create the opportunity. Fairly simple, right? But often uh, nobody knows how to do it. So let me show you how. First thing first, we'll get some text box like, I don't know, something like account name, because that's what we're going to use. So let's say account name, very, very simple. And then we will do a drop down called account type. Account type. And I will sync this directly from Salesforce. Account then let's do type and then we're done and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a submit button but this is going to be a Salesforce action here and then let's say now I get a page break which means I'm going to add another page I'll duplicate it by the way and then on this page I'm going to you know what I'm going to add some stuff for my opportunity so we'll get a text box And then here, I'm going to actually display the account name that I just created from Salesforce. And then also bring a text box to create opportunity name. Get a drop down, which is going to be the opportunity stage. Sync from Salesforce, we'll do stage. Like that. And then click apply. And I think that's all I need really to create an opportunity. All right. So let's hide this. Let me just go and set up my push. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and set up my push. Okay, so this is going to be push for the the first uh, object here, which is going to be account. All right, and then I'm going to create. I'm going to find my mandatory fields first, which is only the account name. So we will do account name, and that one is going to be this one, and then we will do type and then we'll map it to account type apply and apply and then I want to say using custom button slash action so what's going to happen is basically as soon as I fill out account name and type and I click submit it's going to create the account but what I do want is the hidden field account ID so let's get a hidden field here and what's going to happen is when that account is created, I'm going to pass that ID into this hidden field. How do I do that? Well, when I click here, I've got, I'm going to set this as Salesforce action. I'm going to choose my account create. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go and put a little comment in here. So we'll do PG1 create account. All right, finish. And then what I'm going to do is go over here, click set, and then simply choose this, click add. This beautiful little thing here, what this does is when you create it, it will pass the ID back into this hidden field that I've just put it on page two, which is this one over here. All right. So once I've done that, what you can then do is run a get, another get. So you can say, I'm going to go ahead and bring from account PG to get, and then we'll use this in custom button. We'll say condition, the account ID must match my account ID hidden field. All right. And if that's true, go ahead and bring me account name on the second page, the account name basically as simple as that really and then apply and finish so now look what happens here if I preview let's say I create account name we'll call it auto populate Titan 
and I'll choose as a prospect. Now, if I click submit, what's going to happen? Oh, actually, do you know what? I screwed up a bit here. Let me set this to go to next page after that's done. All right, so click save. Let's try this again. So if you have a look here, the account name is, I don't know, I'll just do, do this again. We'll say push populate two. And then if I click submit, you see it's passed the ID over here. Now based off this ID, I can bring data back in here. So if I go to my get, which is the second get I set up, I'm actually going to turn this into a simple trigger, auto trigger. So now look what happens. If I now go refresh this form and then do auto populate two and then click submit, because it's passed this value in here, you see based off of this value, it's automatically brought back my account name. So simple. And then you can bring back any data type based off that. Really, it's, it's up to you. It's very, very simple. So now, because I've brought that data back, I can create an opportunity. So let's go ahead and set up a push. And this one is going to create my opportunity. And then I'll just map my fields. First, let me find my mandatory fields, because those are the most important ones. So we'll do opportunity name, opportunity stage. Hmm. Did I not set that up? Okay, do you know what? I'm just going to give it a custom value. So we'll call it prospecting. And then the close date can be today. Today. And then what we'll do is we'll do account ID. And then that can be our account ID hidden field. Done. And then we'll use it as a custom button. Finish. And then we will do set. And this one is good. Click next, and then we will set this one to be opportunity create like that. All right. Once you've done that, now let's go and create something. So I'm going to say auto populate three. And what this is going to do, as soon as I submit it, the ID is going to get passed here, which has now populated it over here. So now I can say Python demo populate three and we know the stage is prospecting so if I click submit it's going to go ahead and create my data now let's go and have a look in Salesforce as you can see there's my opportunity let me log in There's my opportunity, there's my account, and it's all that simple. So just to recap what I've done, on this page one, I've set up account name, account type. You can it, you can set up any custom object, really. It doesn't matter, or standard. And then I've set up my Salesforce action. Once I've set up my Salesforce action, I've said when this has run, pass the ID into this hidden field, which is on second page here. All right? And then this is what's happened over here. Once that account got created, the ID got passed over here. And then based off that ID, I have now run another get, which brings the account name. I have also, based off another ID, created the opportunity, which has now added that contact, sorry, that account as the, as the ID. And this is how you do it. Very, very simple.